So I've been getting a lot of questions recently asking how I make my sound lines. I never really took this seriously because I use equipment people wouldn't use for these sort of things. I'd much rather you go look at Shuriken255's tutorial on his YouTube channel, so that will be in the description below. But for you people who don't have money for FL Studio or any version of Flash, I guess this could be your last resort. The software I use to make my sound lines is Audacity. While it isn't fit for making music, it helps me get extremely precise with how I can edit and place my SFX. Other than Audacity, you'll need sound effects, of course. I can't upload the sound effects that I have, so I'll leave a link in the description to the sounds form on Hyun's Dojo, which should help a lot. I began with only like 20 or so sound effects, and now I have more than 1500. Before going into the actual process, I'd like to say some things about sound lines I've noticed in other videos. In an application for the Kryptonite collab, I got this. His biggest enemy is that he had not left enough room for him to actually fight in. I'm assuming he has no available V-cam, which are really important in the look in the typical stick fight. I'll leave a link to the V-cam I use in the description. One thing he did was repeatedly use the same sound effects instead of spreading out his choices. If you want to make the beat noticeable, you can always get more creative with the sound design. Next is Imitate to More, an imitator collab tribute made by DC. When I first saw the video, I didn't think the video was synchronized. During some of the other scenes, it became more clear, but not obvious. His biggest enemy was placing too many sound effects too close to each other. In a synced fight, you want to provide a good amount of sound effects, but to not use them all in the same sound line. You want to spread it out so it sounds more like a beat and less like an average crazy stick fight. Lastly, if you're hosting a synced collab, do not repeat a sound line. It screams laziness and is noticeable. Shuriken did this twice in the Deadly Runners collaboration with Draco and Unseen, as well as OP and Hairs. Another important thing is that you want to find music that isn't too fast, but isn't too slow. This collab is a great example of going too fast with the sound line. It can just get hard to keep up with sometimes. Speaking of music, you want to find a good fighting song to sync to. First and foremost, make sure you are using a song that has no copyright claim or make sure you have permission to use it. I'd recommend something from non-copyright sounds or kill the copyright. Finding the right style of music can be tricky sometimes. You don't want to use something too hard on the beat like dubstep or too happy like the creator Tobu. Find something that is just the right mix of EDM and action. I mean, you're not going to sync to the Me Shop theme or death metal. I will be making a short 14 second sound line using Unknown Brain's Matafaka from NCS. If you want to download the tutorial example, then the FLA file will be in the description below. Please note that I am not giving you permission to upload this anywhere. It is for the purpose of teaching you how to sync and getting familiar with what I used. Another thing, I streamed the process for this example, and you can find the playlist to the four streams in the description below as well. I will not be covering exact animation techniques, but I will show you the format of which I use for each video, such as the dimensions and the setup. I will show you how to use some simple editing techniques in Audacity using my phone because I can't record Audacity on my computer. I will not be recording the whole process of the sound work. If you want to use this sound line, the link will be in the description below. The sound line will work with any song at 95 BPM. Again, if you are going to use this sound line and upload it, please do give proper credits. Now we're going to get into the sound work pit. First off, Audacity is a free audio editing software, and the download link will be in the description. It may sound as simple as just placing SFX down to the beat, but if you just go willy-nilly, it could end up sounding something like imitate more. Use a select few tens of SFX, try not to go crazy with it. Some sounds will have a certain pitch. Create a small tune in your head and try to recreate it with the tunes and the SFX. Don't get too repetitive with this process or it could sound like Tesla Anim's tryout. Some sounds may become frustrating to deal with. When you drag the file into the software, you may run into a stereo setup instead of a mono. If you don't want your sound line to look too hectic, click on the triangle next to the name and click Split Stereo to Mono. This will split the track into two pieces and not single it to one side of the speaker. Another trick, if you want to make a regular sound sound much more impactful, go to Effect, Amplify, uncheck Allow Clipping, and drag the triangle to plus two or more. Try not to go too overboard with it, though. If you want to create a quick reverse effect, drag in an Ultra, this being the Ultra, go to Effect, Reverse. Clip the end of the sound or behind until it's right next to the ultra in front or the other way around. And that covers it on a very basic standing point. I'm willing to start taking videos suggested and criticizing them, so if you want to have your soundline reviewed, then go to the comments, type the name of your soundline and where I can find it. 
i.e. Hyun's Dojo, YouTube, Newgrounds, etc. Now once you have created your soundline, you're ready to take it into Flash. Here's how I would normally set up my file. For the FLA, set your dimensions to either 800 by 400 or 667 by 375. Setting it to something like 1200 by 720 will make the file much bigger than it needs to be. Set your frame rate to 23.97 frames per second because the audio can glitch if it's set at a regular 24 FPS. Next, go to Publish Settings and uncheck HTML because this version is practically useless. Next, click Flash and set the JPEG quality to 100. Then click Audio Stream and change the bitrate to 124 or 160 kbps. Then unlock Convert Stereo to Mono. Now go down to your Properties panel and select your audio in your timeline. This setup should show up. Next, change the Event to Stream in the Sync setting. Hit F12 to view the sound quality. If the audio is peaking, select the audio again and click Edit. Drag the square down to the highest wave pattern. This will prevent the sound from peaking. Once you have done this, you should be all set to animate your sound line. Have fun and good luck!